right now australia is opening a new pathway to be able to come into australia following this visa 482 and being eligible to get a pr in just what in just two years irrespective of your job occupation this is huge guys irrespective of your job occupation One of the major reasons why people don't usually consider Australia when they are looking out for places to migrate to is because of how rigorous the process of migrating to Australia used to be, especially when you talk about uh, getting a permanent residence eventually. Because even before I came to the UK, I did try going to Australia from Nigeria. And I can tell you at some point, uh, I gave up. <laughs> yes, I gave up because it's not just rigorous it's also not straightforward okay it's always uh there's always one thing or another and at times a lot of persons just like me will look at it and then they'll do what they'll give up and probably choose uh other countries like uk us canada that has like an easier pathway this has actually cost australia quite a bit when it has to do with attracting like talented persons and talented uh personnel you know with different professions to come over to Australia. Now the government is doing their best trying to change those rigorous laws. So because of this, they've been amending one thing after another. That is why there seems to be so many information and so many news about Australia out in the open these days, about new laws being changed, about new updates to existing laws, and you know, so many other positive progress for anybody who is looking to migrate to Australia. Today's video will be bringing information about a major update as regards getting a permanent residency in Australia. These new changes will be taking effect from the 25th of November 2023. So like in a couple of weeks from now, this will be taking place. So this is a new information. It's a major update. I want you to please pay attention if at some point you're considering migrating to Australia. Beautiful people, my name is Ada. I'm a UK registered nurse, but I'm actually in the process of migrating to Australia as a nurse. So because of this, I tend to do lots and lots of research as regards migration to Australia, not just for nurses or other health professionals, as well as other skilled workers. So whenever I come across information that I think will benefit anybody that might be considering Australia, I try to come over here and share it. I want to say a huge thank you to all my subscribers and to uh, anybody who is just watching my face for the first time, please do subscribe and consider joining this family as well. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It's going to encourage me to do more video. So let's go right into today's video. So for you to better understand what these changes is all about, I need to first of all let you understand what uh, the visa 482, which is the temporary uh, skilled shortage visa is, and what as well the visa 186, which is like the employer sponsored PR visa is. In Australia immigration you'll be able to understand what the changes are and how these changes are going to affect you or how this change is going to help you get a PR so mostly when people migrate to Australia most of them go on the visa 482 now this is referred to as the temporary shortage visa that's the TSS okay in short the TSS most employers would offer this visa to somebody coming from outside the world into Australia to come and work all right now this visa is normally valid for what two years before the 25th of november 2023 you can only renew the tss visa twice in australia okay at the end of the second run you are expected to travel outside australia probably back to your home country and maybe apply for the job again with your employer get employed and then you'll be able to uh, apply for this visa to come back to australia you can see it sounds a little bit ambiguous what if i go back to nigeria and then i apply and i don't get the job again you know things can actually happen that used to be the process before you are able to be nominated by your employer to apply for a pr through this route your job occupation must be on the skilled occupation list we all know that australia practice like the skilled occupation list where they have jobs that can actually you know be offered a permanent residence so if your employer if your job is not on this shortage occupation list your employer will not be able to nominate you to apply for a pr now this is all the background so the changes that's going to be taking effect as at the 25th of november 2023 i'm just going to read it out here for you so you can see with your own eyes so the temporary skill shortage visa which is the subclass 482 right that's the tss from the 25th of november 2023 the government plans to remove the limit on the number of short-term stream 
TSS visa applications that visa holders can make in Australia. Remember I said you can't make more than twice. Once you've done the second one and it expires, you have to travel back to your home to be able to apply for the third one. So the government is removing that what? That barrier, that number of applications. So now, from the 25th of November 2023, you are now able to make as many tons and tons of application for the TSS visa. So let's say you've had one, uh, two years it's expired, you can renew and renew, and you can keep renewing. Okay, there is no longer the limit of two uh, of two round, and then you're going back to your country. So that is one big uh, change. But that change you might not necessarily even need to renew more than once okay because before you have to also note that you need to work for the employer for at least three years okay for three three years but listen to the next change so the changes will provide employers and holders of this visa this 4a2 visas with more certainty and ensure australia attracts and retains the skilled workers in needs allowing employers to nominate holders of all streams of tss visas including short-term and labor agreement streams like i said earlier before before your employer will be able to nominate you for a pro following the tss route the visa 482 route you must be on the shortage occupation list okay you must be on the shortage occupation list so this new law now is allowing the employer to nominate anybody so far you are on the tss visa 482 now your employer is able to nominate you irrespective of if you are on the shortage occupation list or not on the shortage occupation list this is like a huge open door for persons who have been in australia following the tss or those who are planning to get job in australia following the tss route following the visa 482 so now you can go ahead and get the visa 482 because you're sure that in two years time your employer can definitely nominate you for a permanent residency so this is an exciting news number two ten the government is removing the requirement for nominated occupations for the trt stream to be assessed against a skilled migration occupation list the nominated occupation will need to be listed in the australian and new zealand standard clarification of occupation that is ansco ansco is like a list that contains all the jobs in australia okay so so far is a job that is going to be paid for that is going to be taxed of course is an ansco as long as your job or whatever it is employed to do is in ansco your employer is entitled to nominate you at the end of what two years number three thing there was reducing the period of time a tss visa holder must hold their visa and work in their nominated position or occupation to be eligible to be nominated by the employer to two out of the three years before nomination so before the 25th of november 2023 you have to work for an employer for three years even if you're on the shortage occupation list before you get nominated okay but now that's been reduced to work two years so all you have to do is work for an employer for two years and then you'll have hopes of getting nominated to get a pr another major change that this information is bringing to us the fact that there's also been an object on the age extension limit so before uh you couldn't do this if you're above 45 years old all right before once you come in with a tss the visa 482 and you're above 45 years the employer will not be able to uh, nominate you for a permanent residency now 45 years or 60 years or whatever the government has removed that aid limit i will also read what is down here it says these changes are the first step in providing more equitable access to pr for all tss visa holders whilst the government continues work on reforms to the skilled visa programs following the development of the outline of the government's migration strategy so what it simply means is that this is just number one and the step of the changes will be seen very soon so from now henceforth there's going to be loads and loads of changes as regards migration to australia guys so if you're looking to migrate to somewhere i want to let you know that australia is now opening up their doors they are bringing out like so many laws that are going to be favorable for anybody to come in so those things that um they are like a hindrance for you to consider australia those hindrances are being taken away one of the hindrances in australia used to be like uh the age limit another hindrance used to be not being able to get a pr if you're coming with the you know the short visa so now those two major hindrances have been taken off and more hindrances and more barriers will also be taken off so this is the right time if you're somebody who's been considering coming over to australia this is the time for you to start what 
taking your journey serious and then if you haven't considered migrating to australia maybe now is the time also you should want to start doing this because nobody know how long this is going to happen okay we can all recall how it happened in the uk whenever the uk decided to open its doors for the uh care worker visa a lot of persons at the onset who even got the information on time refused to act on it because they thought it was maybe going to last longer or maybe it wasn't real you know so they just sat on it and those who went ahead to do it were those to benefit that pathway it's now so difficult to get we all know that so right now australia is opening a new pathway to be able to come into australia following this visa 482 and being eligible to get a pr in just what in just two years irrespective of your job occupation this is huge guys irrespective of your job occupation you can come into australia and get a pr in just two years all you have to do is get a job to sponsor you with a 482 visa and there are so many job sites i'll be leaving like a lot of job sites at the description part of this video there are so many employers that are willing to employ on the 482 visa i'll be leaving the link for the sick australia i will also be leaving the link for indeed australia don't forget to always put on the search bar uh the visa 482 okay or the tsa when you're looking out for jobs so you can just type job vacancies for visa 482 and then those jobs are going to pull up okay so if you get one that you can do check out the requirements and try to meet them this is going to take effect from the 25th of november 2023 uh, on another note i also have to mention here that for those who are already in australia whose visa are due to be renewed before the 5th of november 2023 unfortunately they still need to travel out to go and get their visas renewed they still cannot do it while in australia so this is only for persons whose visas will be expiring from after the 25th of november 2023 so this is the latest update guys i'll be doing another video detailing how you be able to apply for jobs in australia so you want to start doing this if you know anybody who is planning to migrate to australia or who might consider australia because of this new pathway please don't forget to send this video over to them i do hope you've already subscribed and you already liked this video and until next time i will see you again keep being awesome bye, -bye.